Um, Mr. Speaker, it was the political interference by this Liberal government that was a catalyst for this whole Norman Show trial. Now, this Liberal government obstructed the legal process, sat on the evidence Vice Admiral Moore Norman needed to defend his case. They dragged his good name through the mud, drove him into near bankruptcy, and refused to turn over evidence to the courts. And no surprise, the case against Vice Admiral Norman has been dropped. Now, Canadians want to know, what is the Prime Minister so desperate to hide? Yeah. Yeah. Honourable Minister of Justice. Mr. Speaker, I disagree with every single premise in that question. That's right. Mr. Speaker, a great institution, the RCMP, led the, led the investigation, produced evidence which it gave over to the Prosecution Service. Mr. Speaker, the Prosecution Service, which, uh, which operates independently from government, evaluated that evidence and decided to move ahead uh, with uh, charges, laying charges in this case, and then went through the proceedings. During the proceedings, Mr. Speaker, the Department of Justice cooperated with the court for the production of, of third-party document requests. Mr. Speaker, that's the... Honourable Member for Selkirk Interlake Eastman. Well, the minister should actually listen to the press release by Marie Hennon today, and Norman's defense actually said that they waited for six months since he made the request for documents and still haven't showed up. Right now, the Prime Minister, Kelsey, stomped all over the admiral who served this country with distinction. The Prime Minister maliciously accused Mark Norman of a crime he never committed then blocked him from getting any legal assistance. The Prime Minister dragged his feet, disclosing evidence for the case, and sent completely blacked out documents. What are in these documents? What is the Prime Minister covering up? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Uh, the Honourable Gentleman should know that uh, all of the procedures here uh, conducted by the uh, Office of the Public Prosecutor and by the RCMP are totally independent of the uh, Government of Canada. The whole structure is designed to keep it independent so that the decisions that are made are made on the basis of proper legal considerations and all of those considerations are weighed carefully in court before a judge. The matter was entirely without political influence and that's what the prosecutor said today. That's right.